Five people sit down for a family lunch. Only two survive it. It seems poisonous mushrooms were on the menu. You have got to hear what is happening in the tiny Australian town of Leangotha. We're gonna need Miss Marple for this one. Welcome to True Crime Recaps, I'm Amy. So the first thing you need to know is this isn't just any family lunch. It's a mediation lunch. But let me explain. Aaron Patterson is married to Simon. Well, they're technically married. They've been separated since 2021. Some say it was Aaron's idea. Others say she wanted to get back together. It's complicated. Reports say that that's why Aaron's in-laws came over to talk about her relationship. So that's a fun lunch, said no daughter-in-law ever. It was Gail and her husband, Don Patterson, and Gail's sister, Heather, and her husband, Pastor Ian Wilkinson. Simon himself passed on the invite at the last minute. Aaron and Simon's two kids went to the movies. The beef wellington was on the menu. Ambitious. It's not an easy dish to pull off. Basically, it's beef tenderloin covered with a layer of mushroom sauce and then prosciutto, and it's all wrapped in a puff pastry. But for the purpose of this story, it's the mushroom sauce that caused all the problems. Maybe. It's unclear. The classic recipe calls for mushrooms chopped very fine, then cooked down in butter with shallots. What kind of mushrooms? Your portobello, your shiitake, button, that's chef's choice. There is one requirement, they should not be poisonous. The so lunch was served on Saturday, July 29th. The next day, everyone rushes to the hospital with severe stomach pain and diarrhea. By the following Saturday, Gail, Don, and Heather are dead. Pastor Ian is fighting for his life in an induced coma waiting on a liver transplant. Aaron is relatively fine. She only gets a saline drip and a liver protective drug. Death caps are the alleged culprit. So death cap mushrooms are found around the world. They're common in Southeast Australia between March and May. And 90% of mushroom poisonings are thanks to this little devil. It doesn't take much to kill you. Just half of one can cause liver damage. In happier times, Aaron and Simon used to go out mushroom picking. But for the meal on July 29th, Aaron says she used a combination of button mushrooms that she bought at a local supermarket and dried mushrooms she says she bought at an Asian grocery in Melbourne at least three months earlier. The package, she says, was labeled by hand. She can't remember the name of the store or where it was. She rehydrated the mystery mushrooms and then added them to the recipe. She dished out the meal, then let the guests pick their own plates. Her kids ate some leftovers on Sunday, which kind of seems a little bit odd because everyone's in the hospital after eating lunch and the kids are at home eating the leftovers. The timing, it's not clear. But either way, the kids are fine. They didn't have any of the mushrooms. It was scraped off of their portion because, Aaron says, they don't like mushrooms. Okay. Except, then police found her food dehydrator at a nearby landfill. It seems Erin was talking to her ex at the hospital when the conversation turned to the food dehydrator, as conversations do. And Simon reportedly asked, is that what you used to poison them? She dumped it right after that, but at first she told police she dumped it a long time ago. And it's not clear what, if any, role the dehydrator would have played in the poison lunch because dehydrated mushrooms are not in the recipe for beef wellington. The in-laws aren't the first family members with food poisoning. Simon spent 21 days in intensive care a little over a year earlier in May 2022. He used Facebook to tell friends, I collapsed at home, then was in an induced coma for 15 days through which I had three emergency operations, mainly on my small intestine. My family were asked to come and say goodbye to me twice as I was not expected to live. He thinks it happened after eating a nightshade. Nightshades include tomatoes, eggplant, potatoes, peppers. It's not totally clear if he ate something his wife served up. We do know that she wasn't eager to take care of him after. In her statement, Erin says she reluctantly agreed to nurse Simon back to health for three weeks after he was discharged, before telling him she didn't want to get back together with him. Sources say they met in college and married sometime after graduation. Police say the split was amicable, but some locals tell the Australian that the, the relationship was going south recently. Erin is a stay-at-home mom who named neighbors say keeps to herself. She also manages a multi-million dollar property portfolio. She's bought and sold at least six properties in the area according to The Age. Now, Simon works as a self-employed engineer. From 2018 to 2020, he and Aaron also edited the local community newsletter after taking it over from Simon's parents, Gail and Dawn. Now, they're retired teachers, real pillars of the community. Heather was also a teacher who spent her retirement years teaching English to immigrants at the local community center. Pastor Ian Wilkinson is the only guest 
to survive the lunch. And sources say that's probably only because he was sent to a hospital with a very well-respected poison center. He was there for seven weeks, much of it in a medical coma. It's a miracle he lived at all. The case is still being investigated, and obviously there's a ton of questions, but Erin insists she did not do it and has no idea how it happened. And it's entirely possible she doesn't. But then, how did it happen? Police visited the Asian grocery stores in Melbourne, buying up all the hand-labeled dehydrated mushrooms they could find for testing, but if they have any answers, they haven't shared them with the public yet. And isn't it logical to assume that if Erin did buy those mushrooms three months ago like she claims, wouldn't there be other people out there suffering from the same sort of thing after buying the same mushrooms in a grocery store? But police haven't said if there are other cases like this out there. Until they know more, they're keeping quiet. In the meantime, maybe just, I don't know, avoid the mushrooms? And remember, subscribe to keep up with this and other developing cases. And that's your recap. Thanks for hanging out with us today. If you like getting all the crime in half the time, go ahead and tap that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss a story. We're here Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, but don't go away. Catch up on more recaps right here, right now. Until next time, take care.